Roy the Owl, but I'm here today so that you can learn how to make a super pretty picture for your Christmas season. Now my very important job at the North Pole is every year I get to redecorate Santa's house to make sure that it is looking super festive for the Christmas season. Now I'm sure your houses are looking super pretty already. We're going to learn to make something super special that you've made yourself. Now before we get started, remember you must have an adult there to supervise you to make sure that you're okay when doing this video. Also make sure that you have a nice surface and it is protected as well. So I've got my nice green cloth down today just like a Christmas tree. And last but not least, super important rule. I'm going to draw an outline, nice and spiky Christmas tree. I love drawing Christmas trees. They're just so fun. There we go. So here is the picture of the outline of my Christmas tree. So it's super big, but it doesn't fill all of my paper. But what we're going to do now is we're going to cut out our Christmas tree. So Ruby Robbie's here. She's going to supervise me today, aren't you, Ruby? We're going to cut out our tree. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree Christmas tree. The other hand is to paint. Now I did tell you we wouldn't need any brushes, didn't I? Because we're using our fingertips. So I've got green, yellow, red and blue. Because it's a Christmas tree, I think I'm going to go with green. But remember, it's your Christmas tree. You can make it however you want. So I'm going to dip one of my fingers in the green paint. I'm going to do dots all the way around my Christmas tree. So I'm going to do half of my finger on the Christmas tree, half of my finger on the white paper. So I'm going to dot all the way around so I follow the line of my Christmas tree. So it's half on the Christmas tree, half off. And I do another dip and I fill it in and I keep going all the way around. Ooh. 
remember to keep that Christmas tree as still as possible. You don't have to be spread out, you can make them nice and close together. I've got lots and lots of little dots around my Christmas tree, so some is on the Christmas tree, some is off the Christmas tree. We need to keep our Christmas tree in the same place yet again, and we're going to add more dots. So I'm going to add some more green dots, but I'm going to spread them further out on my paper. Make sure that there's lots and lots and lots close together near the Christmas tree. Woo, this is fun. You can do more than one dot with the same finger. Now I have lots and lots of clusters around my Christmas tree. We're going to do another section of dots round the outside of these section of dots. This time these dots are going to be less and less so we're not going to do as many this time. You can do the same colour if you want or you can swap colours. I'm going to swap what colour I think yellow just like Christmas lights. I'm going to do it round the outside of my other dots but I'm not going to do as many. So I've got lots of yellow dots now. I think I'm going to put another colour. I think I'm going to do red this time and I'm going to do even less dots. Spread all of our dots out now. Now I'm doing red dots and they're getting further and further away. Whee! This is looking good! Hmm. Now that you've done all of your dots and you should have coloured your paper, so we've got lots and lots near the Christmas tree, then we do less and less as we come out the papers, so I've got loads near my Christmas tree all bundled together, and then I get less and less as I come out. It's time for the best bit, the reveal. Slowly, we're going to get the end of our Christmas tree and we're going to slowly peel it off.